my fellow Americans, <clears throat> I come before you to address you, to let you know how the first couple of months have gone. Um, we are confident that things are going very well. Uh, we do have some areas of strife in the Far East and the Pacific Islands of Oceania. Um, China has made some strides, but we have had good fruitful talks with Russia and we really are trying to not so much expand our influence or exert it, but trying to help our fellow world community members to come with us into the future. Uh, our economy is doing very well. Um, we have capabilities. We are trying to keep areas of the world from slipping into a chaos and crisis. So hopefully we will be able to continue our good works. Uh, that is all. I am your president. God bless America. All right, here we go. We're doing turn, well, still turn one, but uh, continuing activation phase one. Uh, we have made it through there so far and ended it on a good note with that 60 minutes thing. That was really cool. Captain Carl, how's it going? Happy 4th. Uh, yes, and that ended on a really good note, didn't it? That really ended on a good note there, Cap. I was very, very pleased with that. I was like, yeah, we need to end it right there because we're never going to see 48 public approval ever again. I'm fairly confident. Uh, but then again, I rolled dice a little bit better than Tony's board life, so we'll just see how it goes. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and continue with the game. Uh, as before, I have the flip turn uh the turn sequence flip book on the screen so it's there out of the way i've got less books i've got to handle right handy so let's go ahead and um get this going uh, get this here so that way if we draw any cards we can show them as we did before because that seemed a good way to do it i think all righty here we go Thank you for uh, spending time with me, everybody who's watching this later. Again, Cap, thanks for coming out. I really do appreciate Happy Fourth of July to you as well. All righty. Let's, without any further ado, we now have Ally and Rogue Group Acts. So randomly draw one of the four ally chits to determine which group, allies or rogues, act. Okay, so we're going to roll a die six, and five and six are excluded, and we will take one, two, three, four, whichever one of these down here comes up on the die roll, and that's going to be a four. All righty. So we're going to take this one, and it looks like Allies Rogues Group B. So let's go ahead and get this out. Group B is going to be in your WA Ally and Rogue States. And group B is on page five. So let's go there. Okay, UK, Japan, North Korea. These allies act in their region except for the UK, which can affect Eurozone or Eastern Europe. When it's this allies, ally group's turn to act, activate UK first. Note ally relations. Uh, UK, we are very close, so we're going to get two joint actions. Perform a number of joint actions, numbers of actions determined by ally relationship, and then adjusted by any minus one or plus one AP markers on the UK. There are none. <clears throat> so we're going to get two joint actions. Da -de -da. The possible joint actions you can choose are listed below under possible joint actions actions. And that's going to be over here. Okay. Alrighty. Dear, 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 dear. When finished with them, flip over all tension counters on the UK and reveal their values. Alright. So possible joint actions. We have Intel. And um, these allies act only in their region except for the UK, which can do uh, Eurozone or Eastern Europe. 
Uh, raid. Make a raid against one terror group. Uh, we've got one in Eastern Europe. Attempt to stabilize region. One max. Increased stability. Not a bad idea for Eastern Europe. Reinforce. The ally is involved in a war, so no. De-escalate. The ally has a conflict track. Attempt to decrease the status track away from war. And request UN humanitarian aid in any region. Uh, this will decrease the regional crisis in the chosen region box by two, by one box. Or remove stress. Remove up to two tension counters from this ally. UK doesn't have any. So we're looking at de-escalate maybe. UK has... Uh, they don't have any uh, conflict tracks. So that's not happening. Uh, reinforce are not in a war. So it's stabilize a region, one time max, raid a terror group, or intel. Um, and the target, so raid is out. So it's going to be Stabilize and a terror group. Those are the only two things we can do. We're going to try to stabilize the Eurozone and... No, we're going to try to stabilize Eastern Europe and we're going to try to move that terror group to the gathering box. So, Intel, auto success. UK gets two Intel successes per joint action. Uh, locate any terror group in the region. Choose the terror group and place the group in the gather Intel box in the region. If or if they were already in the intel, move it to the next one. UK gets two successes. So terror group is one success, auto success, and then locating is the second success. Awesome. And then attempt to stabilize the region. Roll a d10. Minus one DRM if regional crises is zero. No, it is one. One to four. Increased stability by one box. So we need... Dave, how's it going? Welcome back. Dave Little in the chat. And we roll a three. So we get to decrease our increased stability to six. That is a good thing. Eastern Europe, good things happened in conjunction with the UK. When finished, flip over all tension counters on the UK and reveal their values. They have none. Then make a die 10 unilateral die roll referring to the UK unilateral action table applying applicable DRMs they have a table back here they do um, including the sum of tension counters as possible DRM including but that's not all of them well let's see what are the DRMs here we go it's on the bottom of the table on the next page in WA2 page 6 um, so we are no tension counters on UK, it's minus one. Uh, Russian influence in the Eurozone, plus one, so it's zero. Plus one per level three or four in the Eurozone, no. Plus one if Russia, NATO conflict status is greater than one, it is two, so that's a plus one. Plus one for current forces. In current wars including US forces so that is a plus two because we are involved over here in war number one with the Taliban so it's a plus two let's roll the die ten don't do that I'm gonna knock this stuff all over the place that is a five plus two will be a seven Seven, oppose the bear. Remove one Russia influence from Eurozone or Eastern Europe. Let's take it from Eastern Europe. Let's take it from Eurozone. That way we do better the next time we get an ally. But we're not going to get B, so we don't get them. But that's fine. Um, then remove all UK's flipped tension counters and replace with half the number rounded down. They had none, removed none, so nothing. Two, activate Japan using the same procedure described above except for Japan. So Japan, we are over here in Asia Pacific. Um, ally, very close. We're going to get two joint actions. We are very close. Um, perform a number of joint actions. 
Um, then adjusted by any minus one or plus one AP markers on Japan, there are none. The possible joint actions you can choose are listed below, so we have that. Um, Intel, there are terror groups. Raid, none are fixed. Attempt to stabilize. Yeah, sure, we can go from six up to seven. That'd be really nice. They're not in a war. De-escalate. Ally has a conflict track. Decrease the status. Japan and China, they're at one. There's no need to do that at all. So reinforce and de-escalate are not happening. Humanitarian aid. Uh, regional crisis can move. We may do humanitarian aid. They do have stress. We may... Now, nah, I think we're going to do intel. Locate any terror group in the region. Uh, so that's the first joint we're going to do. And Japan gets auto two successes doing this. So they both come up here into the gathering box. And I think we are going to do remove stress or tensions rather. So we'll take that. Those are our two actions. And then when finished, uh, flip over all tension counters to reveal their values. There are none there. And then we are going to make a unilateral action. Uh, so unilateral action with Japan. Dairo modifiers, no tension, counters on Japan, minus one. And plus one or two, rounded down, con current conflict status value for China, Japan, um, conflict, it is one. So that is going to be plus one straight roll. So let's see what we're able to get over here with Japan. Oh, nice roll, nice Nice one summit. Remove one tension counter from Russia. Oh, okay. Way to go, allies. Digging it. Doing well. Doing well. Thus far, doing well. Um. Then remove all of their flip tension counters. There are none. Replace with half the number rounded down, so no tension counters are going back on Japan. After UK and Japan activations, activate North Korea. Uh, it's going to be dim guys right there. Flip over any tension counters and sanction counters on North Korea and sum their values. Alrighty, so we'll move that up there. We'll move these up here. We have tension counter plus one, plus one plus two. So that's going to be plus four. Roll a die 10 and refer to their action chart. Applying all listed DRMs, including the sum of the tension counters and sanctions. Okay. Let's go to the next page. Well, page seven, North Korea. DRMs, plus four max. If there are no tension counters, no, there's there are. Uh, net is going to be four. Um, conflict track for DPRK and ROK is a three. So status value rounded up, one half rounded up. So that's going to be two. So we are at a plus two. And if the relative strength favors. Nope, it is neutral as far as the relative strength between those two forces. So we're at a plus two. Let's hope for low. That is a four. Plus two is six. Oh, plus the tension counters is ten. Missile tests. Play one tension, place one tension counter on Japan and South Korea. All right. Missile tests. Oh, South Korea's got a mess of them. You really do. Wow. They have five. Oh, we need to do something about that. All right. Do to do. Apply the results. 
Remove all tension counters on North Korea and replace with half the number rounded up. So we're going to replace these with two tension counters. And I'll throw them on there, mix them around a little bit. And we'll take you. Two tension counters for North Korea. Da, da, da. They go right there. Okay. Remove all sanction counters and replace with an identical number. There are no sanction counters. We got that changed. Check unstable states to finish this segment. Um, there are none. And that's it. If North Korea is at war, they are not. Final action. Checking unstable states. There are none. Okay, so that is that portion of the turn sequence. Uh, next, that's Ally Rogue Allies and Rogue Groups Act. And next we're going to have POTUS and Cabinet Focus. So we might be able to get even more rewards here. Alrighty, refer to the POTUS Cabinet Focus section on the game board. Boom! Um, beginning with priority number six and continuing up to one in order. Roll a die six for each focus. Do not roll for any focus priority that has tensions counter next to it. These priorities have been shuffled aside for now because of other crises and events. The result of D6 falls within the range. Um, immediately apply the results in the success area. Okay. So we're going to do that. So first we have number six, tensions not happening. Five, tensions not happening. So not improving relations with Congress or with the public or the press. Four is going to be cabinet effectiveness. We need to roll a one through three. Let's move over here so you can actually see what we're doing right here. Boom, 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 boom. Tensions, tensions. So we need a one through three for cabinet effectiveness. That's a three right there. Um, roll again. One to three, four to six. It's another three. Uh, place an improving marker on the cabinet effectiveness track, which is here. So we're going to place the cabinet effectiveness improving. Good. All right. Next, we're going to do number three, which is the economy. I need a one through three to succeed. Got a one. Uh, place an improving economy. We already have an improving economy, so that's going to move it up to seven. If there is an improving economy and you are instructed to place an improving economy, you remove it and you increase the track by one. Number two, Homeland Security. Need a one through four. That's a three. <laughs> oh, I screwed the rest of this game. Uh, decrease one terror group in the U.S. by one level. We have none. If none, plus one to Homeland Security and minus two to public approval. Wow, okay. Plus one to Homeland Security. So that's going to be up here to seven. And uh, public approval is minus two. So we'll chalk that down to 44. Right there. On the bottom down here. And then we are rolling for address domestic crises. And we have one. I finally found that token, that counter. I rolled a six. Nothing. All righty. We failed that. We needed a one through five. So domestic crises is still one. All righty. Um, next, we've done all our successes. Tension counters. Anytime the game instructs you to place tension counters, place the instructed tensions counters in the tensions boxes to the right of each. That does not currently have a tension counter on it. If they're all filled when you're instructed, minus one AP and roll on the cabinet drama table instead. Domestic action number six allows you to remove tension counters from one to six in descending priority. Um, 
three, scandal tensions. Anytime you place a new scandal counter on the scandal track or move a scandal counter one row to the right, place one tensions counter on a cabinet focus in ascending from six to one. If POTUS is a scandal target, then place two tensions. At the end of this activation segment, remove one tension from the highest priority, so we're going to take it away from public and press relations. Alrighty. Okay, and then we move down one more. Uh, we're going to do minus one box media relations, two domestic actions, and our legislative segment. So decrease media relations by one box. It, they degrade with the passing of time. All right, so we drop to four. Uh, next, perform two domestic actions. Choose and perform any two actions from the master domestic actions player aides or from the domestic actions of the master presidential action player aide. You may spend two APs to take an additional action of any type before the end of this segment. So presidential and domestic. We get any two. And we can, yeah, we can spend the two APs in order to get an extra one should we wish to do that. Bump, bump. And ally and remove attentions. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, increase regional alignment in a region. UN Goodwill, Regional Alignment. Do we want to do that for the Middle East? Presidential Trip. Oh, what else can we do? Well, no, that's a trip. That's going over there. So, no. Uh, domestic. There we go. Domestic. Okay. Presidential Presence. Raise your rating, media, and public. Uh, use bully pulpit to rally support for or against a bill in Congress. Well, we don't have any in there yet. We're getting ready to. Corral the cabinet to improve cabinet effectiveness. I'm not concerned with that at the moment. So domestic, attempt to stimulate economy, address a domestic crisis. Okay. Hopefully this will make sense this time. I'm going to do that for one action. So we started with two. So now we're going to move it to one. One action remaining. Oh, this is done. I'll turn that upside. Yeah, I can leave it there. That's fine. Um, okay. Cost one action. Make a cabinet effectiveness check. Okay, cabinet effectiveness check. So, cabinet effectiveness, find the current rating, and the current rating is four. Okay, the current rating is four. Uh, DRMs, plus or minus three, the max. Uh, if address domestic crisis is number one, it is. So that's a minus one. Public approval is 60 or higher? No. Vice President or Chief of Staff's a domestic rating. Uh, both have a one, so that's minus two. And plus the DRM from the current box in the LDI track. Uh, plus zero. So we're at a minus two for this. <sighs> Let's see what we get. Um, if we roll... Okay, let's see what we get. Um, it's a four, and we have a minus two to the die. Ten, not good. Uh, minus two is eight, so no effect on the domestic crisis track. Minus one public approval for trying. All right, we tried it. One more. I think we should try it again. So we're at a minus two. That's a one, minus two is no problemo. All right, decrease the domestic crisis track by one box. So it's a zero, awesome. 
and uh, public approval back up one. Good, got it. Okay. So that is our two domestic actions. I don't know if I want to do another just yet. Not domestic. Um, Prove relations with Congress. Party fundraising, track terror car target, no. Raid, no. Remove one tension counter from POTUS cabinet focus, no. Um, bipar encourage bipartisanship in Congress. We might want to try that. Okay, we might want to try that. Okay, um, we're going to do that. Uh, encourage bipartisanship. Is there a already did it marker that I need to get out? Da, da, da. Not that I see, but that's okay. All right, no problemo. We're going to do that. We're going to try to encourage bipartisanship. Cost is one action plus one AP. We will do that. We'll mark that off. We're down to 15 APs. Not too shabby. Oh, two more for the extra action. It's down to 13. All right. Um, procedure, roll a die six. DRM, minus one if you have the moderate influence. No, I do not. So... Uh, roll a die six, it's got to be two or less to succeed. One or two, looking for a one or a two. Oh, just missed. No effect. At least nothing bad happens. All right. So that's going to be it for our two domestic actions. Dink. Dink. Alrighty, that's that for those. And then we have perform legislative segment. That would have been nice to be able to do that. Um, determine support opposition to pending bills. There are no pending bills. Oh, support. How do you do that? Oh, there are none. Skip that step. Um, is that something that I didn't do? I don't know if that's something that I didn't do. I didn't see anything about that when I was setting it up. Huh. I don't think I did. Oh, no new legislation this turn. And no new legislation this activity phase. That's sitting there, but it doesn't do anything. All right. That's it. Whatever. Um. Oh, legacy points. I should put that the times 10. Put it right there. Okay. All right. So, uh, skip that step. If no pending bills, skip it. Attempt to pass pending bills. Skip it. There are none. Number three, to attempt to pass a bill, if no bills are passed, skip the step. Add legislative friends or opponents. If you pass or sign a landmark bill only, no, there's nothing there. How the sausage is made. Roll one D6 and refer to the Congressional Maneuvering and Drama Table. D6. So roll one D6. How the sausage is made. Five. Okay. Roll one D6. Um, DRMs. If bipartisan cooperation is in the right most box, no. If it's in either of the left two most boxes, nope, it is one conciliatory. 
Uh, one, if relation with Congress is seven or greater, no. Plus two, if it's three or less, no. Minus one for public approval, no either way. Minus one, if friends outnumber opponents, no. And opponents don't outnumber friends. Plus two, if this is the second roll of the step due to bipartisan cooperation being in the leftmost box. So we're just doing that straight five right there. Cabinet shaken by threats of congressional investigations. Make a D6 roll on the cabinet drama table. One. Cabinet infighting goes public. Minus one approval. Public approval. Drops to 42. Um, if a public priority bills are already in the pending bills area, move one opponent's legislation left one box. Nope, five. Move bipartisan cooperation counter left one box on the bipartisan cooperation track. Uh, so it goes there. Um, minus one AP, so that drops us to 12. Uh, place a worsening counter on cabinet effectiveness. So we remove the improving. So it's just a steady four. And that is it. Okay, that's it for that one. That's how the sausage is made. <laughs> Love it. Um, introducing new bills. Remove all bills currently in the cannot be passed box. No. So you may now voluntarily remove any of your opponent's bills currently in a box pending bill section. Because you can never have more than five bills in pending bills. You'll sometimes want to remove a bill or two that are lower priority. Okay. Remove all bills currently in the cannot be passed box. There are none. And place them in the unused bills. Bills currently in any box in the pending bills section. You may now voluntarily remove them. Cooperation section is the number of bills that are now introduced. If you control both houses of Congress, you choose which bills to introduce. If you, your opponent controls both, you choose opponent's legislation for the bills, not yet pending or passed, that are the highest public priorities. If control is split, roll a d6 to see who gets to choose the first bill. Even me, odd opponent. So who gets to choose the first bill? Well, let's see. Again, um, the number in the current box in the bipartisan cooperation section is the number of bills. So we get to select one bill. We're looking for even. Two, four, six, one. Jeez. Uh, so they're going to select public priority education reform. Well, you know, that kind of works for me, too. I'm good with that. Because I'm all about the education reforms. Uh, opponent goes in. Let's see. And then, okay. So if your opponents, then choose opponents' legislation bills. Not yet pending or passed. Uh, roll a d6 to see who, and then alternate between parties. Place the bills or bills your opponents have introduced in the zero box of the pending bills tracked. Okay, right there. On the board, if there is a split control in Congress, um, yeah, there is split control. I don't control, they don't control. Okay. Place the bills in either plus one if introduced by a party that controls neither. Oh, okay. Place the bill or bills in the minus one box if introduced by a party controlling both. Place it in the plus one if introduced by a party that controls neither. Alrighty. Party control in Congress. Well, I do not have that. In Congress, no more than five bills allowed. Okay. Zero, and it says right here, right on the board, what to do. Um, zero if there's split control of Congress, split party control. Okay, got it. Yep, good. So that's where it belongs. Uh, determine media result. Then total, total, then compare the media ratings of all friends and opponents with the move 
Okay, of all friends and opponents, media ratings. One, three is four, and four. So it's straight. Then move public approval, that number of boxes with a max of three boxes in favor if friends net is higher. Tie, no change. Okay, so it stays. Also adjust media relations. Why one box higher for plus three or minus three? Okay, so there's no change in media relations. It stays at a four. Scandal investigation. Skip if no scandals. Good. Adjust bipartisan cooperation. Examine all the friends and opponents. They're more moderates than radicals. Move cooperation right by one box. If there are more radicals and moderates, move it left by one box. So there's two moderates and two radicals. It stays. Legislative momentum. Perform one immediate free action of any type for each of your bills that were passed and signed during this segment. None were passed and signed. Okay, so that does not happen. Move the counter forward one space on the turn sequence track, and we're going to draw a crisis chit. Draw one crisis chit. All right. Let's see what we get. Okay, so since this portion is just one right here, it doesn't have the plus draw again, so this does not do anything this time, that plus symbol. So it's just going to be one. It says to draw one crisis card. So let's do that from the crisis deck all the way up there. And we have a regular grade A event. Uh, immediate place an economy approving counter on the US SOE track. We are topped at seven. So we don't get anything there. We are topped at seven. Dink. Yeah, and plus two public approval. Back up to 46. We're bouncing around in the 40s. We're doing decent with that. Place an improving counter on the cabinet improvement track to represent one industry leader becoming close confidant and advisor. Place your science and technological innovation greater society bill in the past bills box as a landmark bill and apply the results listed on the effects of past legislation chart D5. If you had just passed the as if you had just passed a bill. Possible added military benefits. Roll a D10 and apply the result. Okay. So that's a good one. That's a very good one. All right. So let's go back out here to the table. Let's see what we're going to do. Uh, again, first is place an improving economy improving counter on the United States SOE track. We're at the top, so we don't do that. Um plus two public approval so we're going to move back up to 46 okay uh, place an improving counter on the cabinet improving and cabinet improvement track effectiveness track cabinet improvement track uh, i would presume that would be it there's not a cabinet improvement other people in chat mike hey everything is great mike berticelli um game developer in the chat rob yes this game is addictive and i'm really really loving it i really am it's yes <laughs> things but things are going very well did you place the bill on the opponent side of the counter it says opponents um Yes, so it does say opponents. Yes, I did that. Thank you, Mike. Double checking and making sure. Yep. All righty. Yeah, I didn't look at the chat because this game is very immersive. It really goes. I, I'm loving it. Okay, place improving counter on cabinet improvement track. So we're going to put it right there. It's improving. Yay. And then place your science and technology innovation greater society bill, science and tech. 
um, in the past bills as a landmark bill. So past legislation landmark. And apply the results listed in the effects of past legislation chart D5 as if you had just passed the bill. Domestic charts. See? D5. We're going to be going right there to uh, page 4. Let's see. Page 4. Past legislation. Um. Wow. Okay. Um, before a bill is signed or vetoed, roll a d6, consult the chart to determine the quality of the bill, the legacy points you receive from it, and um, half the listed value rounded down for opponent's legislation, and the consequences if you decide to veto, and what its game effects will be. Uh, DRMs, minus one of bipartisan counter is the rightmost, and plus one if it's leftmost. It is neither, so no dice roll modifiers at all. So we're going to roll a d6 straight up, and that's going to be a three. So we are looking at science tech, which is Greater Society Initiative. C D seven. Okay, let's go back up here and continue to read all of the words, right, Mike? Read all of the words. Each time you pass opponents, minus one to party relations. Uh, each time you roll an adjusted one or less, um, it becomes a landmark bill. But it is a landmark bill. Always use the most moderate side of the counter if you are playing easy. I'm not. Use the most radical side. Okay, all counters will stay on the indicated side permanently. Um, two stars, C. Additional rewards for passing legislation that is public or administration priority. C below, it is not. So we're going to... Um, on page six, Greater Society Initiative One. Read all the words slowly and carefully. Yes, read them. And it says C, D, seven. So we're going straight to D seven because that's what it's telling me to do. Go to domestic chart seven, Greater Society Initiative. A greater society initiative is treated like a bill to be introduced and passed through the legislative process. However, to introduce a GSI, the domestic crisis level must be at zero. When you introduce a great society, greater society initiative, place, place the GSI's counter on the plus one space of the pending track on the game board, which it just automatically passed. You can only have one at a time pending in Congress. When you pass and sign a greater society initiative, each level of implementation brings unique benefits to the president and to U.S. society detailed below. Uh, we are looking science and technological. It has advance one face up. It did not instruct me to flip it to, face, to advance two, so I will not. Um, plus one to any strategic capability. Thank you, cyber warfare. Bump. Uh, plus two to public approval. Uh, Mike, I think your game's broke. My public approval is 50 on normal. Of course, it's early. It's very early. <laughs> Just the benefits as you passed it. Okay, gotcha. All right. Yep, and I've gotten to that point. Okay, cool. Awesome. Read the card. Read all the words on the cards, too. <laughs> Place it in the past bills as a landmark bill and apply the results listed on the effects of past legislation as if you had just passed a bill. So just the effects. And then we have possible added military benefits coming up. But we add plus two to public approval over here. We move that up to 50. And then for a landmark bill... <coughs> Four legacy points. Yay. Dink, dink, dink. That gives us ten legacy points. Legacy points are victory points. 
It's not good. It's not dysfunctional. It is a landmark. And that is all. So now we have a possible, um, as it says here on the card, read all of the words. Uh, possible added military benefits. Roll a die 10 and apply the result. So let's roll a die 10. And that is going to be a 10. No military benefit. That is fine. And then this goes into the reshuffle. Right up there. And we will place this over on the turn sequence track. And we'll be moving down to national focus national intelligence. Number plus two is the number of boxes. Yes. I'll point that out when it says plus two to public opinion, it's the number of boxes here. Um, when you are looking at when you are looking at public approval for a dice roll modifier, you're looking at the wee little number up in the corner. Um, and it will say when to do that. We'll get to that. We have not yet. But yes, plus two to public approval is two boxes from 46 to 50. All right. Next, we're going to get rid of the malware bytes message in front of my OBS. And we're going to scroll down. Next on the turn sequence, perform focused national intelligence. Okay. All right, so Focus National Intelligence Collection counters represent the setting of priorities for national intelligence resources. And the only one I have right now is in the Middle East. Um, but it gives a description of what they represent. Uh, one, if you have the exceptional White House resource card superstars, it's a minus one DRM. No, I do not. Uh, roll on the Focus National Intel collection table for each region that has an FNI counter or focused national intel collection counter to determine the effects of your focused intel in that region. You may then move the counters into a new world region if you wish. So the table is also on uh, WMI in the world charts. However, it is in the flip book so you don't have to dig it out. So we're going to go ahead and use it. Um, we're going to roll a die 10. Modifiers. We go through the modifiers first. If strategic recon intelligence gathering capability is higher than both Russia's and China's, it is. So that is a minus one. And it's plus or minus two max. If cyber warfare is higher than both, no, we just made it equal. So we're at a minus one. If either Russia or China has an influence counter in the region and their cyber strategic capability is greater than the US, that is an and. So they both have influence and cyber strategic capability is, uh, where is their cyber strategic capability? Cyber warfare, but it doesn't say those particular words. Cyber strategic capability. Where would that be found? Um, but it says if they have influence and their cyber strategic capability. That's strategic capabilities, and that's the only one that says cyber. I'm going to say that since we're even, it's not greater. So that's not a plus one. So we are, strategic recon is greater. That's a minus one DRM. And let's roll a die 10 and see what we get. Seven minus one is going to make us a six. Effects on level terrorism. Move a level three, two, or one in that priority terror group in the region to a locating box. To the locating box. We have found terror group number two. Awesome. The level two terror group we just placed in the locating box. Fantastic. All right. That's good. That's good. And then we are going to move forward to any four diplomatic or military actions. 
any for diplomatic or military actions. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope, nope. Before we go any further. Oh, phase three. Okay, because one action for POTUS in each cabinet member after FNI, but that's over here in activation to phase three, not one. Okay, so it does say phase three only. All right, any four, diplomatic or military. Let's see, diplomatic, and that's any four. You may perform any four actions total chosen from master diplomacy actions or master military actions. You may also choose actions from master presidential action chart player aid if such actions are diplomatic in nature and you don't get plus one actions for this segment. Okay. And we can spend, of course, two AP to get, take an extra action should we need to. Um, diplomatic, military, and presidential diplomatic. Let's see. What are our pressing issues? Uh, regional crises. Everything is in hand at the moment. Yeah, just jinxed that one. Um... There's a lot of tension in Asia Pacific. I really need to focus a lot of things over there. I really, really do. Could work on getting some allies. Um, diplomatic and military. Diplomatic, for, well, military is military. Uh, resupply training with an ally. Use military professionals. Let's see. Let's see what all the militaries do. Uh, improve a strategic position in the world. Request rapid capabilities. Um, gain intel on terror groups to enable operations to find and target them. We might do that in the Middle East. Um, we get four actions. Let's do that real quick. Let's get our four counter up so that way we can keep track of this. Um, we might do that. We might try to run intel on the level 2 terror group in the Middle East. Against two terror groups. Let's work on both of them. Okay. So we're going to use one action. So now we have three remaining. And we're going to work on these terror groups right here. Um, select two. So first we're going to... And all the DRMs are right there. We're going to go for Terror Group 2, uh, DRM, if there's U.S. Intel and Advisors, we have that, so that's a minus 1. FNI is here, it's a minus 2. So we're going to roll a die 10 and see what we can do for Middle East Terror Group Level 2. 9, not good, that's a 7, no effect. Uh, second one is going to be for this one right here. So again, we're a minus 2. Four minus two is two success. Place a terror group in the gathering box. If it's already there, move it up the track. So they're both in um, locating. All right. So that is that. I'd. Mm. Second. I may come back to that. I don't know. Uh, diplomatic. Trip. At. No. Um, for offer peace. Summit with China, Russia. Act to impose sanctions. De escalate a conflict. Make a trade agreement. Remove influence. Crisis relief. I'm thinking about it's here, isn't it? Um, decreased tensions. I thought we had stability. Boink. Um, regional alignment. Okay. Attempt to improve one region's alignment, I think, is going to be our second action of this portion and I think we want to do that with the Middle East as well and we'll probably end up doing it with Central South Asia try to keep these guys from uh, burping it up okay 
Okay, cost one action. Uh, we did that. Um, DRMs. Okay, so we're going to choose a region. Uh, it is a five, so we need to roll a five or less. DRM's diplomatic rating secretary of state is a one, so that's a minus one. And for each country with influence in the region, there are two, so it's a plus one. We need five or less, plus one die roll modifier, die ten. That did not happen at all. And there's nothing there for a 10 plus, so it's not like an epic fail. It does not list that, unless that is a rule that is elsewhere. Because um, others say 10, but it's just a pass or fail. So attempt to improve one region's alignment, pass or fail. And that is a fail, no effect. Um... Let's do Central South Asia and try to do the terror guys again. Get intel about these two terror groups here. Um, we have um, minus one. We don't have intel. We don't have an FN. Uh, do we have intel? We do have intel, so it's a minus one DRM. Okay. Uh, so a die four, we need four or less. We have a minus one. Five minus one is indeed four. So that's going to put him in the gathering, and then we'll try it on the second one. Need a four or less. DRM of one, ten. That is not, that is a five plus failure, no effect. And then I would like to try to do the regions alignment there as well um okay so that's going to be a region alignment of five uh plus two secretary of state is minus one so it's a plus one drm and we need five or less nine minus one is eight nothing there no effect all right that's all of our actions for this portion and as you do this, you're able to do some things more quickly, and the game moves along faster. Uh, this is one example. Went through this in what, about four or five minutes? So, yeah, the, the more you do, repetition is the key to insanity, man. It really is. Okay, that is four of those actions. Do I want to do anything else for two more AP? I've got, uh, I've got 14 AP. Do I want to do anything else this early? Nothing is critical. I would like to just leave it as it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to the beginning of activation phase two. Ladies and gentlemen, it is April of whatever year. Okay, activation phase two. All right, two or four. Draw one crisis chip from the bin. I like Pringles. Oh, I dropped one on the floor. I knew I was going to do that at some point. Oh, I didn't need a fat man's best friend to pick it up. Awesome. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Regional Summit and a plus, which means we'll be drawing another one. Okay, Regional Summit. What does Regional Summit give us? Refer to the Regional Summit table, WD2. So we'll get our world charts out. WD2 is on page three. Uh, depending on which crisis chit you drew, follow its directions. Note the DRMs and decide whether to spend one AP representing the summit personally before you roll to determine the summit's, summit's results. Okay, so we're going to roll to see which region it is, and each region has the image of a die 10 above it with a number in the center of that illustration, and rolling a die 10 will tell us which region this is for. Uh, let me get back over here so you can actually see what I'm pointing at. Pictures of die 10s above the name of each region has a number in it. 
So we are going to roll for that. It is an eight. Eight indicates we are having a regional summit about Africa. Okay. All righty. Do -de do Determine the type of summit by fo the following criteria. The regional crises in the selected region is two or higher, and it is. Or there is a war, not in Africa, or any level rogue state in the region. There are none. It will be a security summit. So we're having a security summit. Okay, plus three, minus three, die, roll modifier, max. Um, from your regional alignment check, um, there are no plus numbers in that. Five. I don't see any plus number. Ah, oh, okay. Probably the color. So if it is gray, it's zero. If it's green, it's plus one or minus one. If it's red, it's plus one, I am presuming. And I'll go slowly and Mike let Mike tell me you got it right. Um, plus one if you spend one or minus one or minus two if you spend one or two presidential APs. Am I attending? Um, I think I would like to. So I'm going to do minus two. Um, man, I'm going to do minus one. Select that right now. So I've got a minus one modifier. Um, very close ally in the region. There are no allies in the region. Uh, there's not a current war level four terror group or any level rogue state in the region. No. Plus one, plus two if there is at least one Russia, China or Russia influence counter. Plus two for both in the region. There is one. So it's plus one. So that's going to make a zero. Regional alignment check. I'm presuming it is a zero since it is one of the gray numbers in the middle. Never read anything that said that, but I'm willing to bet that's what it is. Okay, and then make a regional alignment check for that region. Uh, alignment check, and that's going to add to what it is. Okay, so um, make a regional alignment check for that region. Pass minus one DRM here or fail plus one DRM. So let's go ahead and make a regional alignment check, which is five. That's what the regional alignment check above. Got it. Read all the words in order. It explains it to you because these guys made this game really good. Read all the words in order. Ah, do as I say, not as I do. Um, six is going to be uh, greater than five, so that is a plus one. So plus one, I spent one AP. I can spend another AP if I want to to even it out. Because China is a plus one, so that's plus two. <sighs> he knows this game well. Uh, Dave, his, his name is right there. His name is right there. He knows this game very well. <laughs> yes, he does. All right. Uh, second AP. Let's make it an even roll. I really want a four or less. Let's just see what happens. Summit. Security summit. What we got? Ten. Oh, jeez. Uh, nine plus, no progress. U.S. blamed for not doing more to help. Place trending anti-U.S. counter in the region. So we take away the trending pro and leave alignment straight there at five. Um, and then remove one U.N. goodwill. If none, minus one to world opinion of the U.S. Ah, jeez. We could have done more. We just... We wanted to get home and get some white castles. They don't have white castles here. They really don't. <laughs> but yeah, again, Mike, thank you very much for uh, all the help. Um, it great game, man. I love it. I really do.
you and Gene, good on you guys. Fantastic game. I'm loving this game. Alrighty, that is the end of the crisis chit. We did have a plus, so we got to draw another one. So let's move down here, draw again. See what we get. Yeah, Mike slums some of the uh, other channels who are playing the game and everything, and it has been a huge help. It really has, huge help. Uh, Russia gets two actions. So this is a special crisis chit that is added to it when Russia moves to posture a two. And they did. Go to the Russia action chart. Mike, while I've got you here, uh, may I ask you a question from earlier with China? And it may be in Russia's also. We'll get to this in just a moment. I was doing China's acts earlier. Okay. Um, when I was going through their actions, I got to dependent actions. I went through uh, approving economy and then calculating the number of China actions. And then we started that. We did terror in Central South Asia. The second one, quell rising dissent by addressing internal issues. Roll a die 10, adding one if China posture is two and subtracting one if SOE is six plus. On a die roll of one to four, use one China action to address massive social and infrastructure costs, smog and environmental issues, internal security, modernizing infrastructure, etc. Ten, five plus, no effect. The step doesn't cost an action. What is using an action to address massive social infrastructure costs. What do I do? Because I did not understand that or see it anywhere, so I did nothing. What does that accomplish mechanic-wise? And I will redact it and I will do that. This is the one, yeah, this is the one question I'm done. Mike, Mike, help, help. Okay, and waiting for that, we will go ahead and do, okay, in the world, peer, Russia, act, booklet, and perform the following two actions only. Okay, so let's get the Russia book out. Uh, Russia acts. The following two actions only, and I'm just curious. Yup, that's, and the same kind of thing shows up in Russia, so yeah, that would be a big, that was the only thing I've really, really, really been hung up on yet, because I did not do it. Okay, um, number one, cyber attacks. Make two cyber attacks. So we're going to go to conduct espionage, I believe. Um, I think that's what we're doing. Conduct espionage. Let's make sure that there's nothing back here. Doink, doink, cyber, 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 cyber. Not seeing cyber. Cyber attacks. Oh, remaining action hierarchy. Cyber attacks and online. Okay. And what is the second one? Other random action from the one to 10 list of remaining actions. Remaining actions, okay, cool, so that's where we're going. All right, didn't say to go to remaining actions, but yeah, that's, that's where the cyber attacks are. Okay, so cyber attacks and online disinformation, this is page five in the uh, Russia Acts uh, under heading H. Uh, and they get to make two attacks. Using the chart to the right, if uh, at posture one, they are at posture two. They make three attacks, but this says makes only two attacks, and that's fine. Um, if you're performing cyber attacks as part of Russia Acts, no. So for each attack, roll a die 10 to determine the target, and then another die 10 to resolve the attacks on the chart to the right. Uh, so a die 10 to determine the target. 
Okay, so determine target, and it follows. Good. All right, so determine a target. Um, die 10. Da -da -da, which is a 10. So the target is going to be Eastern Europe democracies. Okay. Eastern Europe democracies, which is going to be right up in the here area, Eastern Europe. They are the target. Then another die 10 to resolve the attacks on the chart to the right. So result. DR, if Russia cyber strategic capability is greater than US, no, it's equal to. So major success is one. Two through seven is success. Eight plus is a failure. Um, and that is 10. That is Eastern Europe. Make sure there are no die roll modifiers. It does not appear to. Uh, make two attacks using the chart. Uh, for each attack, roll a die 10 to determine the target, and then a die 10 to resolve the attacks from the chart. Okay, so we're going to roll the die 10. And it is a 5. And that is going to be a success. Uh, success adds a Russia influence counter in Eastern Europe. So that's another one. Okay. Russia influence. And that will move this up to six. And this influence can get out of hand. And then I need to do a second one. So the target is going to be, that is a three. Target will be US political cohesion. Alrighty, so it's going to be the equals Nine is going to be eight plus failure. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'm going to roll a um, the second one, Russia Act. Roll a D10 to get a random action from the remaining actions. Well, let's see what we get. Uh, that's a two. So they are going to do number two. Initiate multi-domain, low-intensity, gray zone attacks to expand Russia's influence in neighboring regions. Okay. Attempt to expand their influence in one region. Attempt the first region where conditions are met. If no region's conditions are met, skip this action. If any regions have three or more Russia influence or a base. That has two. That has two. Let's just stack these. Actually, a little easier for me to kind of tell. So, dink, dink, two, two, so none. And none have a base. Um, okay, A, B, expand Russian influence. Okay, any of these conditions are made. Make one roll, see below. Okay, expand Russian influence. Make one roll. See below. On the first region specified by the following conditions. Attempt to expand Russian influence in Eastern Europe if there are zero to one influence counters and no base. No. Um, two Russia influence counters and no base in Eastern Europe. And plus three influence counters or a base in the Eurozone. Uh, no. Attempt to expand Russian influence if you're in the Eurozone if there are three influence counters and no base. No. Attempt to expand Russian influence in Central South Asia if uh, there are less than... Oh, sorry. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay. Um, expand into Eurozone if there are less than three Russia influence counters and no base. So, yes, we're going to attempt to expand into the Russian the Russian influence into the Eurozone. So we're going to roll a die 10 and add the selected region's U.S. regional alignment. If the result of 10 or less, place one Russia counter. And we're going to add the regional alignment, which is 6. So we're going to roll that. 
Uh, 3 plus 6 is 9, so if it is 10 or less, place one Russia influence counter in the selected region. So Eurozone has Russian influence, and that goes up to 7. Um, but see below for Central South Asia. Any other result has no effect. Do not count it as Russia's action for action number two. That is fine. Got it. All right. So that is that crisis chit. It does not have a plus. So we are going to zip right on down to any three actions and core support check. So let's go ahead and do that. We're at an hour 15. We're going to go for a ways. We might get through activation phase two with this one. It's a possibility. Any three actions in reaction to the world situation, you may now take any mix of any three of your four possible master actions. Key cabinet members may not use plus one action for this segment. So we get to take three. All right. So let's go ahead and place these counters right here to help us a member that we only have three. Alrighty, let us see. Goodness gracious, there is a lot happening here. <laughs> there is a lot happening here. Um, let's move that. We have Middle East, there's a lot happening. Asia and Pacific, there's a lot happening. South Central Asia is starting to get a little bit. Um, man, 50 public approval. Yeah, bite that, Tony. <laughs> Um, anything going? What do we do? What do we do? We want to increase alignment. We want to reduce terror groups and crises. We want to reduce influence. How do we reduce influence? Let's see if we can do that. Attempt to remove Chinese or Russian influence counter from one section diplomatic. Um, may only be used once per activation segment. So we're going to do this, and I think we're going to try to take one out of the Middle East, and I think we're going to try to take Russia out. So, cost one action. All right, we're down to two. Uh, choose a region. Regional alignment of seven or eight. Oh, well, I can't do it there. Um... None are seven or eight. I cannot perform that action. Six, if there are no crises. Um, boom, 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 nothing. Never mind. <laughs> we still have three. Good thought. Cannot do it, though. All right. Um, crises, I'm not sweating right now. Can we do anything? Hmm. Let's do intel. Let's try some intel. Let's try some intel in the Middle East. All right. We're going to target two. We're going to target both of these. First, we're going to roll for the number two. Um. And we have DRMs. We have intel. We have FNI. So we are a minus two. We need four or less. 10, that's a 6, nothing. So we're going to try it for the level 1 terror group. Let's see if we can move them up to targeting. 4 or less. Minus 2 DRM, 5 is 3. We move him up. Okay, do we get rid of a terror group? Or do we do it again? Let's do it again. Uh, let's just do it again. Minus 2. 1 to 4. Uh, that's going to be a 6 is 4. So we move that one up, and we're going to try to get one of these guys into gathering intel. 1 to 4, minus 2, DRM, 9, no effect. Okay, third, we're going to do a raid. Um, destroy or diminish. 
We want to perform a spec op forces raid on a terror group in a region. Target the terror group. Must be in the target fixed box. Roll on the SOF raid table WM2. Or perform up to two drone strikes or airstrikes on targeted target terror groups in a region. You may not attack the same terror group twice. Um, and that's WM2 for airstrike drone strikes. We're going to uh, perform spec op forces raid on a terror group. And it's going to be the level 2 right there. So we're going to do that. Uh, we are looking for WM2, which is on page 9. Uh, we're going to do the raid. Raid can only be launched against a terror group that occupies the target fixed box of a world region's intel track. DRMs, minus one if there's spec ops, yes. So minus one, uh, minus one if there's FNI, yes, so that's two. Uh, minus two if it's a joint raid, no. Minus two if it's an Israeli raid, no. They're in the neighborhood, but it's not an Israeli raid. Uh, plus one if target is level three or four, no. So we're still a minus two. If there are a combined total of plus of three plus Russia or China influence markers or a base, there are four. So that's a plus one. So we're spec ops, FNI, minus two, three plus influence, minus one. Uh, let's roll a die 10 and see what we get. Minus one DRM. Four. Makes it a three, might be good. Success, decrease terror group by one and move it to gathering. Well, we'll take it. All right, we'll take it. All right, we'll take that. That is two. Um, and do we want to remove tensions from South Korea? Uh, diplomatic, 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 because they've got five. Um, I think we want to decrease tensions. Um, one cost, one action, so we're going to do that. Um, optional cost of up to two AP for a minus one DRM per AP. Okay, we'll see. An ally remove two tension counters no roll. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll just remove those. And that is going to be it. So that is our three actions. And now we have the second portion of this core support check. Uh, during the segment, adjust your public approval rating according to your core support number on the party relations track. Party relations track. Move your PA up or down the number of boxes equal to your core support towards the 40 on the PA. Up or down towards the 40. Um, zero. So it is going to remain where it is. Okay. Because 40 is middling, so it's kind of like, you know, it, it keeps you in the neighborhood. Okay, um, and now we're going to have Terror or Chaos. As we move a decent guy down here, Terror or Chaos. So we're going to roll a die 10. Uh, 1 to 5 is Terror, 8 to 10 is Chaos. Uh, 2, that is going to be Terror. So, Terror Act Procedure. Increase the regional crisis in any region containing a rogue state counter by one box. No, 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 yes. Regional crises in Central South Asia and nothing there. Uh, consolidation of networks in each region where there are at least two level one terror groups. Remove one set of them and replace it with one level two. If the two terror groups are on the intel track, put the level two terror group on the lower of the two boxes. So here we have, let's see, at least two level ones. Remove one set of them. Okay, so at least two level ones. 
Uh, these are going to become a 2. These are going to become a 2. Ah, they come off a targeted. Daggone it. But they go to the lowest box. Um, these become a 2. We got some terror groups doing stupid crap. Uh, just a 1, a 2, and a 1, and a 2, and a 1. Okay, so that is that. That is consolidation of networks. Make a Terror Acts roll on the Terror Acts table below, which is on the flip chart. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting to show you what we were doing. So we made these a level 2, we made these a level 2, and we made two of these a level 2. So we have a bunch of level 2 terror groups out there. They're kind of pinky. Alrighty, Terror Acts table, DRMs plus 3 max, plus 1 per level 3 or 4 terror group on the board, there are none. So we're making a straight up die, 10, 7. Uh, terror group expands, increase the highest level terror group on the board, decide randomly for ties by 1 level. Okay, so we're going to roll for a region, because I have a few 2s. Five would, of course, be Middle East. They're going to be a three. All right. Bunch of twos, so I just rolled for a region. Now we have a three on the Intel track. Oik! Um, and then create one new level one Terra group in a random region. Uh, seven, that's going to be in um, South America. Gets a level one. Stinking cartels. All right. And that's it for Resolve Terror. We're going to go to... Doing pretty well. We might make it through this. We'll see what we get. Um, activation phase two to the top. Ally Rogue Groups Act. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not done yet, not done yet. Terror Act Procedure, keep going. There's more, there's more. Uh, if there is a rogue state on the board, export terror. There is a rogue state in Central South Asia. Roll 1d10 to export terror. Eight. That is going to be the United States. If there is a level one or a level two terror group in CONUS, randomly increase one such. Otherwise, add a new level one terror group in continental U.S. Ah, oh, they've gotten across the border. All righty. Um, yep, and that's it. Okay, now. It was not chaos, so we're going to go down to Ally Rogue Groups Act. So randomly draw one chit. Um, I have three over here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Two. And we are going to be looking at Allies Rogues Group D. Okay, so let's get W, T, for, did we already have it out? Where is it? No, wrong letters. Um, ally and Rogue Groups, W, A. Got it. Get off of my, have yourself. All righty. Let's see what we've got going on here. We're looking at D, page 11. Canada, Gulf States, Saudi Arabia, and Rogue, which is going to be the one here in Central South Asia. So Canada, activate Canada. If they're very close, we're going to get two joint actions and they are very close allies. Perform a number of joint actions 
uh, determined by ally relationship, and then adjusted minus one or plus one markers on Canada, there are none. Uh, note if the ally has a must choose counter, then it's time to select their joint action. Okay, when finished with the joint actions, flip over all tension counters on Canada to reveal their values. Okay, possible joint actions. Intel. Um, and we can do them multiple times should we decide to. Um, there's not much to do there. There really isn't. Uh, Intel 1 Max. We're going to do Intel. Um, so locate any terror group in the region, choose a terror group, place the group on the gather intel box in the region, or if they were already there, move them to the next box on the track. They get two successes per joint action. So boom and boom. Locating terror group. <laughs> Fight it. And then the other one they want to do is... Um... Reinforce. If ally is involved in a war, try to add one strength to their side. Roll a die 10 and subtract Secretary of Defense's defense rating as a DRM. And he has a 1, so that's a minus 1. Request UN humanitarian aid. Remove stress. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to try to reinforce. Canada's going to try to reinforce us over here in the war with the Taliban. Dink, dink, dink. Right over here. So we have a minus one DRM for John Long's influence. It is the Secretary of Defense, yes, okay. And we rolled a five minus one is four. So we're gonna add one strength to our strength against the Taliban. Good, good. There's not much to do in the con US at the moment. It really isn't. Um, that is Canada. Let's see. Um, there are no tension counters on Canada. We are going to um, make a unilateral action die roll. Okay, which is on the next page. So make a D10. Unilateral action. Uh, DRMs, minus one if there's no tension counters. Um, plus one if there's Russia influence in the Eurozone, so that's a zero. Plus one per level three or four terror group and con, con us, no. So we're a straight roll. If Russia NATO conflict status value greater than one, uh, Russia NATO is conflict status two. So that's a plus one roll to see what we get. All right, plus one to the die 10. Let's see what unilateral action we take. 10, eek. 11 plus, send troops abroad. Either send forces to reinforce NATO, plus one NATO, Russia relative strength on conflict track, and plus one Russia tension, or support US in a war. Uh, plus one NATO. Reinforce NATO, plus one NATO. We might do that. We reinforce NATO over here. We might want to do that. I think we're going to reinforce NATO, plus one to their strength. Uh, make it even. And that will add one tension to Russia. Okay. Russia gets another tension, and that's going to give them two. All righty. That's going to be it for them, I think. Uh, next is going to be um, Gulf States, Saudi Arabia, and exactly the same as for Canada. So uh, we are not very close. So we're only going to get one joint action. And we're going to choose. And I think we would like to track. 
GSA and Iran. Do we escalate them with Iran? God, Korea is not good over there. Ukraine, no, I'm not going to worry about that right now. What do we have in the region? Uh, Intel, I think we're going to Intel that plus over there. And they get an auto two Intel successes. So yeah, we're going to move him there and we're going to move him there. That's what we're going to do. Two successes. Put them right there. Um, that was the action. Okay. And then we're going to go and do the unilateral action die, which is 10. No tension counters on Gulf states. They have two, so that's plus two. Russian influence is plus three. Level three in Conus, no. Um, plus four. So this is a plus four. Roll really low. Let's see what happens. Four plus four is eight. Join US, joint U.S. sanctions. Replace any unilateral or multilateral with a multilateral counter. If none, roll again. Are there any not in that not in that region? So roll again. Plus four. One plus four is five. Trade economic impact in eurozone. D ten one to six or con us economic impact in eurozone one to six nope economic impact in us it's not going to help us much at all uh place economy improving no we are already at the top um if it is already at seven advance the other state of economy eurozone so eurozone economy we're going to take away the worsening so it is going to maintain at five. It says to advance, though. It doesn't say to put. It says to advance. I'm going to say it was below five, and we're going to leave it at five. That's how I'm going to interpret that. Advancing it from less than five to five. So we're going to leave it at that. But it does say advance. It doesn't say put in improving economy improving on the affected nope okay no it would be improving so any regardless we took away the worsening economy on the eurozone state of the economy so it is now steady at a five and that is that after rolling for each ally remove uh tension counters there are none Round it and replace them with them. Well, no. Remove two. Oh, we didn't flip. Oh, we didn't flip. So it's not the economy. It's actually seven, which is that again, and we've got to roll again. So red act. Red act. Because the seven was the one I couldn't do. Seven or eight. Make sure I know it was. Yeah, joint U.S. sanctions. Okay, so now do it again. <sighs> I knocked that off. I think that's where it was, 46. Okay, what? wait, wait, Canada doing something useful? Never thought I would see the day. Hey, dude, beer, bacon, and hockey. <laughs> it's got to come in handy. Let's roll this again. Plus four. Six plus four is going to be a 10. This is what we're actually going to do. Um, joint anti-terror campaign with U.S. Reduce one level one, two, or three terror group in con U.S. Central America or South America by one level. Ah, we're going to drop Central America level two to level one. I'm good with that. That is what we do. Okay. <sighs> plus six plus six, 12. No! Jeez, I keep doing it wrong because of the tensions. It's six plus six is 12. Come on, Chris, pay attention. That stays at two. 11 plus send troops abroad. Either send forces to reinforce NATO and put another tension on there. Or support U.S. in a war. Increase their strength by two. I think they're going to do that. Because if this ever comes up. Yeah, we're getting folks to... 
Strengthen us there a little bit. I'm good with that. Okay. Sorry. All over the place. Little hinky, hinky, hinky. Got it. <laughs> Slow down. It's not a fast game. It's a good one. Alrighty. That is going to be almost all of it. We still have to do the Rogue State. Um... Rogue activation. If no rogue states are on the map, implement the plus six below. The highest leveled game created rogue state acts. Choose randomly if there's more than one. That's the only one in Central South Asia. It's a level two. Um, roll a die ten. I, oh, never mind. I ain't going back. Because I didn't do the die roll modifiers for Gulf States. I did the ones for Canada. Okay. Two is going to be the highest level one. Um, use the rogue state actions process on the allies and rogues group C table. So WA3. Use the rogue state actions. Rogue state actions. Group C table. Okay, so we're going back here to page 10. Rogue state actions. Skip this if there are no rogue state counters on the map. Perform the process below for each rogue state counter on the map. If level 1 or 2 is at war, do only A. If level 3 or 4 is at war, do A and B. If rogue state any level is not at war, do only B. How do we tell whether they're at war? They are at war. Okay. They are the Taliban. They are at war. So if one or two is at war, do only A. Okay, so we are doing war. Okay. Uh, roll a die 10. Well, we got strength when we needed it. That is five. So adding plus one to strength. Also, if the current war type is combined air and ground and the rogue state is not winning, roll a die 10. On a one to five, change it to gorilla. So we're adding plus one strength. It is a 10. We are not changing the conflict type. So they get plus one strength. They're going to seven. Right there. Okay. Terror Impact. Place a trending anti-U.S. counter on the region's alignment track, then roll a die 10 and apply the as shown on the chart below. So they're already trending anti, so that means it's going to drop to a 4. Regional alignment drops to a 4. Alrighty. And then roll a die 10. Uh, if the Rose State does not have a minus one AP counter, so there's no DRM. Straight up die 10. Two. Terror training. Increase one level three, two, or one in that priority terror group in the region by one level. So level two becomes level three. Oi. Getting some terror, peoples. Okay, that is all of that final action. Check. Unstable states. Roll a die 10 for each unstable state counter in the Central South Asia and Asia Pacific. Or if there are none, then skip it. So there is one unstable state in Central South Asia. Let's go ahead and roll it. Um, DRMs, stability is less than five. It is five, so that does not apply. Regional stability is six, seven, or eight, respectively. Uh, no, so it is a straight up die 10. 
That's a four. And that is going to be keep unstable state on the map. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of a terror or a chaos. No, we went to ally groups act. Sorry, I didn't move the turn marker. Ally and rogue groups act. And now we have UN acts. Minute 45, we'll go... We'll go to that and then we'll come back with the domestic actions on the next one at four o'clock, I think. So we'll just do the UN segment for this and we'll uh, go ahead and cut it there. Let us see, UN action. Yeah, it's gonna have a little bit, that's fine, okay. Yep, UN actions, that'll do it. Uh, one, Every time the UN is eligible to act, it will automatically take the following four actions listed with asterisks in the UN chart below. So it's already here. Also, WD3 in the World Charts booklet. I may just have that handy, so that way I can keep an eye on this. Uh, UN actions, WD3. Okay. Eligible to act, it will also take the following four actions. Humanitarian aid, infrastructure aid, youth empowerment, peace talks, and civil war. That is what they are going to do. Okay. So first, we're going to do... Let's do it this way. We're going to do one. Uh, humanitarian aid. Attempt in the world region with the highest regional crisis value. Resolve ties randomly. Crisis levels are 2, 2, 2, 3. Okay, so it's going to be right here in Central South Asia. It represents the world body acting together to alleviate suffering and avert crisis to resolve the humanitarian aid attempt a um, attempt roll a die 10 if it's one to eight it's successful minus one to the regional crises that would be a four so we're going to drop this to two way to go you man one infrastructure aid is going to be action number two uh, attempt in the world region with the lowest current stability Resolve ties randomly. Lowest stability. Um, Africa has three. I think they're going to take that one. So it's going to be in Africa, right here. Uh, to resolve an infrastructure aid attempt, roll a die 10. Uh, if it's one to five, it's successful, plus one to stability. So let's roll the die 10 once again. That is a five. Way to go, you in. Woohoo! So stability comes up to four for Africa. Good thing. Uh, action number three is going to be one youth empowerment attempt in the lowest stability region that contains a level two or three terror group. Two is a five. Um, two or three is a four. Middle East or Africa. Two or threes. Uh, three with a four, Middle East, Africa, or Central South Asia. So, Middle East, Africa, Central South Asia. We're looking for four, five, six, eight, nine, or a reroll. Uh, eight. So, that is going to go to Central. No, it's going to go to Africa. So, one youth empowerment attempt in, the, in Africa. Uh, to resolve the youth empowerment attempt, roll a die 10. If the result is 1 to 5, the action is successful and decrease one level 2 or 3 terror group by 1. So we need a 1 to 5. That's a 6. That action does not carry off. And then number 4, peace talks in a civil war. Choose one civil war or civil war ceasefire in the region with the lowest stability. Uh, we're looking for 4s, I think. Central America doesn't have one. Uh, Middle East has a civil war. Uh, Africa has a civil war. And Oh, they were a five. They weren't in it anyway. I was looking at uh, alignment is low. So it's going to be one of these two. So four, five, or eight, nine. Uh, 
uh, four. So Middle East. Uh, peace talks in Middle East. Um, make a broker peace talks roll for that war in the appropriate column of the Civil War Resolution broker peace chart below. Uh, DRMs. Minus one if UN action. Yes. Minus two cease fire column only. Uh, no, it is civil war. So we're at a minus one. Regional stability is less than five. It is at four. So that's a plus one to zero. Plus one if there is Iranian influence. Plus one counter beneath the civil war. No. So we're a straight roll. We're rolling on the civil war chart. That's a nine. Fighting intensifies. Increase regional crises by one box. Okay. That didn't work. They kind of hacked them off. Alrighty. And then U.S. initiated U.N. actions. After the automatic U.N. actions, you may choose to perform up to two U.S. initiated U.N. actions. If you spend one AP to get one action and or a UN goodwill counter to get one action. If you perform two actions, they must be different. Okay, if you spend one AP and or a UN goodwill counter. Um, so you have to spend, you may choose to perform up to two, up to two, if you spend an AP or UN. Um, Do we want to do anything? Any action listed on the UN chart but must pay with one AP and the other with a goodwill counter. These improve your chances as follows. If you spend one AP to get an action, you get a minus one DRM to the die roll for that action. Decrease regional crisis in region by one box. Humanitarian aid to the Middle East. That is going to be a... Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, if it is U.S. requested, you use the U.N. goodwill counter to initiate the revealed value. No, and it spent one AP, which I'm going to do right there. So that's a minus one. Um, if it is U.S. requested action, value in the upper left of the world opinion box, which is minus zero. So it's a minus one DRM. I spent the AP. That's a minus two. We are going to do... Humanitarian aid, one to eight, minus two, DRM, uh, CACT. That's two, that does it. So we decrease the regional crisis by one. Um, regardless of whether you performed any U.S. initiated actions or not, uh, check your media relations and any public approval benefit or penalty is listed in the box representing your current media relations. Media slant minus one PA. Minus one public approval. Okay. So we're down to 44. Uh, here's a list of the actions. We already did that. Uh, we already did the DRMs. A Civil War resolution broker piece chart for each counter in a... No, because that's part of this. Two U.S. initiated actions. We did that. Move the counter forward one space. So we're going to cut it there with the three domestic actions. And I do believe this is going to be it, uh, chaps. Planning on a couple more sessions today. Uh, I'm going to start one at four, do another one at seven. want to play through this. I really am enjoying this game, and I'm glad you guys are sharing it with me. Uh, Dave Little in the chat. Mike Butter Jelly. Rob Cap. Dave Little. Guys, thank you very much for spending some of your 4th of July with me. Thank you. 
Um, and again, if you're still listening, check out uh, my video dated 29 June 23. I am going to be giving away a copy of this game when I get to 1,200 subscribers. So uh, check out that video. Follow the instructions. They're not difficult because you know, me. <laughs> uh, but thanks for watching. Go ahead and uh, you know, like the video. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Either way, you know, it, it helps me out. It all goes to the algorithm. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the little dinger bell thingy um, so that way you'll know whenever I upload content. And go ahead and um, go ahead and um, um, wow, train of thought still boarding at the station. So you know what? I'm done. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Thank you for watching, Mr. President. Turn two. Keep on rolling. Happy Fourth of July, everybody.